Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, basically what I want to let you know today is can your hydro fix make you sick? Well look guys, obviously before I begin I'm not giving you any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims and with that being said, if you don't clean it properly, it can grow stuff inside of it. I mean, to me this kind of goes without saying for just about anything out there, you know, if you don't wash a glass or if you don't do something properly and it grows bacteria. So it's very important to learn how to maintain your hydro fix. I cannot emphasize this enough because even I, I use extremely clean water and I went a little too far and I started tasting something and this is how you clean it. So I'm gonna just show you how to clean it. I already have it pre-mixed here, but basically you have one cup of, I mean, it can be tap water, it can be clean water, it doesn't actually really matter. And then I'm taking one tablespoon, now one heaping tablespoon of citric acid. Now I'm talking about a citric acid that is specifically designed for cleaning distillers. And you can put one heaping tablespoon per one cup. If you have a lot of calcium buildup or just a lot of buildup on your plates on the Hydrofix, you can actually use two heaping spoons if you really want. You kind of adjust the citric acid per how dirty your machine is. But this is something that you're probably gonna wanna do. You could do it once a month, you could do it once every two months. For me, using extremely clean water and having a very clean environment, I would say that I'm looking that I have to kind of do it once every two to three months for someone like myself. But this is how you do it. So there's a couple different things that you wanna do. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. And as far as cleaning out this, this part, maybe I should show you guys. If you want me to show you how to do this part, and the little area down here and inside here, I guess comment below, because this is the real important part, what's going on in here. You take this part out, because this one, again, you can wash these things with a soft sponge, and that's something that you technically either want to do daily or every other day, at least two to three times a week. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually, if you look inside here, I'm gonna reach down in here and grab the piece of plastic, and I just pull on it, this little piece of plastic comes out. And one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do is clean this little piece of plastic. You can use a little brush or whatever, but I also use the paper towel, and you wanna clean every little tiny nick and cranny. Sometimes you can use like a little chopstick to push the tissue through here. And I had already cleaned this one the other day, and but I thought, you know, I need to show you guys how to do this, because it's so important to keep these machines clean, guys. I can't emphasize it enough. They really do get dirty. And when I was cleaning this one last time, you could see the grime. See, you can actually still see some. Look how dirty that is. And you know, it, it, they just get dirty. And, and this is just a part of life. Again, like dishes get dirty. And you really want to clean these things. You don't want stuff growing inside your hydro fix, guys. I'm telling you this right now because it's going to get in your water. So you've got to learn to take care of your machine and maintain it and keep it clean. So that's how I clean this one. And you could run it under tap water. You could use, you know, a little brush or whatever you'd want to do. But that's how you clean this part. Now with the actual pitcher, try not to touch the plates down there, but on the edges. I don't know if you guys can see this, but if I take the tissue, see these edges, these edges right here? So I kind of push the paper towel. You can't really, I feel like you can't really see it. But I'm getting the edges without touching the metal plate in here. And let's see here. Yeah, just trying to clean it the best I can. It's pretty clean already because like I said, I maintained these and I cleaned this just the other day. And so once you clean that, then now that you have the citric acid solution and I stirred it up, I made sure to dissolve it. You always want to dissolve it properly. And then you pour this into the pitcher. Now, I like to leave it overnight. I mean, I think the company says you can leave it in there for like three hours and it should be pretty good, but I'd like to leave it overnight. I like to get a good disinfectant in there, you know, disinfecting anything might be in there. Plus you can clean the metal plates and things of that nature. And so that's pretty much it. You just let this sit there for overnight. Now, when you're done with it though, when you dump this water out, make sure to really wash this pitcher with a soft sponge. Uh, I can show you which one I use, but you only wanna use water. Don't use anything else. Don't use any soaps, don't use any detergents. I just use one of these things I got from the dollar store and I fill it up with tap water and make sure to get all the sides and really, really wash it well. I have another video where I've shown how I do that. And make sure to really rinse this thing out super well. I'm talking like 10, 20 times, guys. Like, like keep rinsing and, and swishing the water. Make sure to get any citric acid residue out of there. And that's basically how you clean the Hydrofix. Now, as far as cleaning the base of it, you would drain the water and you take a paper towel and just kind of wipe it up uh, and be careful not to hit any of the important components. This part, I mean, it's important, but it's not as important as this part because this is what you're drinking out of. But I still recommend to clean this thing. In fact, 
Let me see. I'll, I'll just show you how, guys how I do it. So hold on a okay, second. Okay, guys. So always be very careful. Notice I'm moving this very cautiously because I'm going to take the rubber plug out of the back. And always remember to put it right back. But I'm just going to pull the plug and let the water drain out of it this way. Don't turn the machine upside down to get the water out of it. This is the right way to do it because otherwise the water can go in areas that you don't want it to go down. And now that the water's out, I'll put the rubber plug immediately back in so you don't lose it, so you don't forget. And I put that tape over it so it just doesn't accidentally pop out. Now what I'm going to do is, it's kind of tough to do this without a camera person. Because basically what I want to do is I'll take a, pa a paper towel and I'm just trying to wipe up all the grime in here. And if it stains the plastic, I've seen people who don't stay on top of the cleaning and eventually it stains. It's not a big deal actually. It's just stained plastic. You're not actually getting ingesting any of this this is just but this shows how dirty your water is this machine has actually been used by somebody else and they weren't always using clean water and yeah it affects the, the machine so I, I, all I did was wipe it down like this now the tricky part is showing you how I do it uh, because I don't have more hands but basically what I'm doing is I'm putting the paper towel in here and I'll grab a chopstick and I can go into this crevice back here make sure not to hit any of the metal stuff but see right back here I can show you and you dig back here and trying to clean up anything deep within the machine and it's not really picking anything up at this point because I had cleaned it before but as far as the filter area you just slide the filter out and you can also put don't put any water in there but just put the tissue down in there and then I can push down in there and just wipe it down Try to get all the edges and get everything in there real good. Pull this back out, see how clean or dirty this looks. It's, it looks pretty clean at this point. This went too far without getting clean, but again, it's okay. The, the inside of the pitcher is the most important part. You just put this back in here, and now I'll just go and set it back okay, up. Okay, guys, so this thing finally sat overnight. I already dumped it, and I rinsed it out extremely well. And this part of the device is already extremely clean now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it down in there again and just reinstall it by pushing in there nicely. Fits in there literally perfectly. And then I'm gonna actually put the distilled water in there that I had already prepared for it. Basically, it's all ready to go. I'm just showing you guys how I set it up all over again. And so I got the clean water back in there. I already washed the crown also, the, the hydrogen catcher. And it's pretty much ready to go at this point. So. I'm going to put it back on the machine and you can see the machine has zero water in it. There's no water in the base. So because there's no water, as you guys know, that's when you put a hundred milliliters. Never put a hundred if it's not totally empty. If it's asking for water and there's water in there, it's 50. But right now it's a hundred because it's totally empty and I'm going to pour it directly into the filter without spilling it anywhere else. And I'm going to go a little slow, make sure the water is actually going through the filter the way it's supposed to. And you can see the lights flashing because it's saying, hey, I need water. I can see the water is going down perfectly at this point. And now it's completely ready to go. I just have a little water here that I'm gonna wipe up and clean up. You always wanna wipe up any water. Never put the machine on top of anything like a cloth or paper towel, nothing. It has to be a hard surface. You don't want anything that can soak up water. Though sometimes I'll put like a mat like this in front of the machine, but I'll never put it on the machine on top of any mat. It can damage your machine, guys, so don't do that. I just have it like this, just in case when I lift the pitcher. If it spills any water and guys that's how you keep it clean and maintain it i can't emphasize how important this is so that you don't make yourself sick by having things that could potentially grow in there you always need to wash things and keep them clean guys so that's how you do it don't forget to support the channel by giving a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time on the next one